Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semmerauer. Let's get started with your top stories this morning, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assistant Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A former North Las Vegas firefighter charged with murder and his wife's death accepts a plea deal. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Former North Las Vegas firefighter Christopher Candido pled guilty on Friday for causing the death of his wife, Tiffany Slatsky. Candido gave Slatsky morphine at the couple's Henderson home, causing a lethal overdose on February 23, 2020. Candido was indicted in August on charges of second-degree murder and burglary. The Clark County Coroner's Office said Slatsky died from multiple drug intoxication. The drugs included ecstasy, morphine, and cocaine. Candido was ordered to appear in court again on December 10th for a sentencing hearing. For the Las Vegas Review-Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Earlier this year, we told you about three Clark County schools honored as National Blue Ribbon Schools. Review Journal's Jen Ah highlights those schools and their achievements. Jen? Well, Renee, it's quite the prestigious award which the U.S. Department of Education hands out based on academic performance. The first charter school in Nevada to receive this award is Pinecrest Academy of Nevada Inspirata in Henderson. The principal says its educators push all students and infuses STEM into all subjects. Then there's Hill Elementary, a Title I school where a large percentage of students live in poverty. Historically, Caucasian and Asian subgroups log higher scores. But their principal says they've been able to close that gap, bringing all students up. Same goes for Lamping Elementary in Henderson, which their principal says didn't happen by accident, but by design. The principals and teachers at the schools are all really excited about the award, which is known as being a pretty prestigious award, and said that it gave them a boost of excitement and a, just a morale boost after the last year and a half working through the pandemic. Out of tens of thousands of schools across the country, only 325 were honored as Blue Ribbon Schools. So this is quite the achievement. Renee. And Governor Steve Sisolak was briefly hospitalized after a car crash Sunday. The two cars collided at about one in the afternoon at Rainbow Boulevard and Russell Road. Sisolak and another driver suffered minor injuries and were taken to University Medical Center. The governor was released shortly after 3 p.m. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental Love Your Smile Again, officials are preparing for a rush of international visitors once the travel restrictions are lifted for travelers fully vaccinated against COVID. The policy change goes into effect November 8th. One official says that as air travel opens, Las Vegas could see a similar rush of visitors to what the city saw once U.S. restrictions were lifted. The announcement has industry leaders excited, one saying, quote, this milestone is also significant and welcoming news for many Many of the major trade shows and conventions that drew exhibitors and attendees from around the world. Now to your sports update, sponsored by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. The Raiders were able to put all of the extracurriculars that took place off the field last week behind them on Sunday as the Silver and Black dominated the Broncos in a 34-24 victory in Denver. The Raiders put together one of their more balanced and efficient performances in some time and were glad they were able to do so for their new leader. Coach Basachi has been incredible, you know, my whole time in for the Raiders. You know, he uh, he took me under his wing, you know, since I got there. You know, if I if I needed literally anything like talking about life, talking about football, talking about, you know, anything, he uh, he was always there for me. So I'm just happy we got the win for him. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Once or twice a season, almost all the NFL favorites cover and the betting public buries the bookmakers. Sunday was one of those rare days as favorites went 7-0 ATS in the 10 a.m. games and 8-3 ATS heading into Sunday Night Football as Las Vegas sportsbooks got crushed. Caesars and BetMGM reported multi-million dollar losses with the Cowboys' improbable 35-29 overtime win and cover over the Patriots, a massive swing of more than $10 million in favor of the betters. 
Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Starting off the work week with a wind advisory until about 5 p.m. today. Gusts could reach up to 40 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Highs today reaching about 70 degrees, evening lows in the upper 40s. For the rest of the week, mostly sunny skies as we continue to warm up. We could see 80s by Friday, light winds and evening lows in the mid to upper 50s. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, about 15 years ago, a real estate frenzy in the North Strip led many to believe there are better days ahead for the area. This is even after the opening of the long-awaited Resorts World Las Vegas, which has brought some much-needed foot traffic. However, there are a number of projects that still haven't materialized. Now, with the economic impact of the COVID pandemic, the North Strip's recovery and development remain in flux. In your lifestyle news, the 20th anniversary of the Las Vegas Book Festival begins today with some virtual pre-events. COVID forced it to be virtual last year, but this year it's welcoming back in-person attendees for some events. Others will stay virtual. And it's bringing in some big name authors for its keynote speakers. We have Fran Leibowitz, um, social commentator, very, very witty woman, um, once a columnist for Andy Warhol's interview magazine. And the, the subject of two Martin Scorsese documentaries, including Netflix's Pretend it's a, it's a City. Other speakers include House on Mango Street writer Sandra Cisneros and children's book author Oriel Maria Sue. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYearNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, the 26th annual Age of Chivalry Renaissance Festival wrapped up after three days at Sunset Park. Festival goers and shops, historical reenactments, and plenty of authentic period food and drinks all there to enjoy, and of course, an array of costumes to check out. It just makes the experience really enjoyable and having people, you know, see your costume that you worked really hard on and being like, oh, that looks super cool or like seeing other people who also worked on costumes. It's just a really fun experience to see like how people are doing different looks and how they're achieving that look. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. And if you're watching 7 at 7 on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.